Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Crypto Global Hundred. This is a price prediction video of the Harvest Finance the Farm Token, and the volume increased 500%. Guys, amazing, amazing. This is amazing. If I can show you the one month performance, you can see here. Last time when the price went up, the volume went up to 703 million dollars. Then we had another pump around 400, 300 million, 200 million, and again around 86 million. And recently we had a pump, so it's a low pump don't uh, maybe it's a fake out as well you can see the volume around uh, 121 million so 121 million if we compare it with this peak that was huge even you can see down there you know volume peaks let's take a look at the volume peaks so this peak is very low maybe compared comparable to the you know this one okay this is comparable which is right now so if we head over to the uh, you know, total supply you know that low it's a low supply uh, token that's why we have uh, you know good and also you can see 96 percent supply is in circulation if we check it on the ether scan just let me go through the ether scan guys and let us take a look at the total you know liquidity locked so the biggest wallet is this one 1.6 percent is the total supply held by the biggest wallet okay if we head over to the form you can see already i've done my you know analysis before so i think it's you can take a look at the you know this uh, candle week it tested right here on this level so let me delete everything let's do it uh, you know let's do the live analysis for you guys and before that if i can check out the market i want to take a look at when it was listed on the you know the gate you because i want some more data for the form so i can you know really try to you know, analyze it from the beginning so just hold on guys uh, bkx is also a good exchange it's a very old exchange bit two as also so let's take a look when it was listed on binance it was listed on binance on 11th august 2021 and here we have i think on autobit it was listed lately and on the mx exchange on the daily just take a look at the daily chart here on the form it was listed here same day gate io the reliable one uh on the ninth so yeah it's pretty old from this area guys so we can take this into uh you know into account as well because it's an old uh, website you can see clearly it was listed back in you know 7th october 2020 so it is the oldest one okay the oldest chart right now and on this area if we take about the volume a weekly chart you can see it is listed on 9th august so for today's video i'm gonna take a look at the you know the gate io chart and let's make it full screen and i hope you can clearly see let's read everything i'm gonna do the quick analysis for this uh, in the form token let's take a look here we have uh, sorry guys we have clear cut resistance at this area making it bold and just to show you the price level we have a uh, 70 is our level of support first level of support the second one should be this one yeah clear the clear cut guys okay so we have two levels guys i'm gonna draw the level here 95 to 70 if we head over to this candle here again let me just make it here around this area so 126 it's showing the 126 level if we talk about only the binance guys i, I will complete both the charts so you can get the general you know perspective of that when you can see clearly we have a downward movement downward movement is going on clearly you can watch out here this was basically a pump then a pullback then another test to the upside got double rejection and then price started to move in the downward direction with the low highs you can see here the price came down here this could be the you know the point where we're gonna see the breakout here we have a breakout around the level i'm gonna take this into account so this would be the point of confluence here at 142 because this is 142 is the area of, of breakout okay we might gonna fall back to 142 and if we see any candles above you know green candles for big above 142 or the area of uh you know this one let me draw another level here this one 137 sorry this is the level of support guys for now 142 to 137 we're gonna fall back to 137 142 and maybe most probably you can see clearly we had rejections from this area we had rejections as a resistance from this area as a support from this area as a resist as a support from this area so typically this is the main zone okay this is the main zone or the main area where the price can you know retract the price can bounce back <clears throat> sorry guys okay and also you can see clearly we have multiple rejections from this year so definitely my uh, you know 
point of demand or my buying orders would be if i were in your position i would place my buy orders on its retest okay on this area you can see the volume although comparing this one is very small okay very low volume and if talk about the ema yeah 21 ema uh, price just broke out of 21 ema and clearly if we just watch it you know closely you see this red line here this is the 21 EMA. So the price is gonna fall back to this level. So 142, 137 strong, strong uh, level of support. But guys, if it break, you know, if it breaks this level, then I don't think so. The price is gonna stay above. It's gonna fall down further. So just keep that in your mind because this is the point of, uh, you can see, let me show you, let me draw another point here. We might gonna come down to the downward channel here. You can see clearly. Okay, price is moving up, down, up, and now another pull going down. We might gonna break this level, okay? So my level of support 170, 142, 137 breaking below this, we might gonna retest the you know this level here. That would be just to, to let you know the deep. Uh, let me show you this one. Okay, yeah, that would be the level of support if we break this area. Okay, so that would be 119. So just let me delete this one. So if we break below 137, guys, if we break below 137, then 119 would be the level of support because as it was a breakout area, although we have more breakout, you can see this is a liquidity gap in here. So in worst case, we can also fall back you know, to this area as well because this is also a level of support. You can see clear cut rejection from this area. And I'm doing the live analysis for you. So don't worry. Okay, 142, 102. That, that would be the extreme level of support. The most in that worst case okay right now we have 142 first level of support 119 second level of support and 102 to 104 would be the third level of support but if it if the price stays above these two levels then we can have a move towards the upside and it has to break the previous swing high it has to close it already break you know it only tested this level here it broke this level but it never closed it has to close above this level so the resistance for me would be this one okay that is 167 we might gonna fall back at that slowly and steadily if the volume keeps on increasing then 167 167 level can be broken and it should be closed above for the bullish value so yeah that is the price prediction video of the form auto you know harvest finance so i'm not gonna go to the gate you right now uh, it's okay to clarify because uh, you know, i got enough data from here so yeah that that was the price analysis of the harvest finance guys take thank you take care bye